Good day, class. We'll be looking at water. Under water, we'll be looking at two major objectives today the definition of water and the sources of water. Sources of water. Definition What is water? We are used to water. We use it at home. We use it um, at work. We drink it and we use it to, to carry out many activities from time to time. Water is generally referred to as a universal solvent. A universal solvent. That is, it is majorly used to dissolve substances. Either food substance, chemical substance, just name it. In as far as it is used for dissolving materials, then it is called a general universal solvent it's a good solvent just like i said that is used for dissolving materials but hardly can you find water in its pure form in nature hardly can you see water in its pure form in in nature now as a result of this let's quickly look at the source of water we have the natural source water from the sky which is called the rain water water from the sky called the rain water now the rain water is as a result of when the sun eats up water on the head surface this water they tends to evaporate when they evaporate they move into the sky as a vapor now when they are moving into the sky they form a layer of water in the sky it comes to a time that the sky could no longer hold this water again they now condense and fall back to the earth as a rain water. The spring water is water from the, the rock. The spring water is the water from the rocks, like the one you can see at the Kogusi. Kogusi spring water, as I call it, the Kogusi spring water. Now, we also have the well water. Majority of, um, of our homes does not have the pipe bond water. What we normally do to get water is to dig a well. Now, take note, if the well is well deep, the water is somehow pure. Water from the rivers. We have water from the lake and we have seawater. The, the seawater here is one of the, the impurest form of water. Why do I say so? It has a high concentration of salt in it. It has a high concentration of salt in it. Now, the, the other source of water are the treated water. One, which is the distilled water. The distilled water majorly is a special kind of water which is prepared, which is treated to, one, be used for analytical work. Analytical work in the laboratory. Two, we use it for titration during experiments. So generally, it is a very pure form of water that contain no ion in it. Unlike most of other forms of water, it is treated to the extent that it contains no ion in it because of the analytical works it is used for. Uh, the, the second type of treated water is the water supplied to township, which we call the pipe bond water. The water that um, is being transported from the water corporation down to our homes now even nowadays a lot of us go as on, a, a long way as making boreholes in our homes and those bowls, bowl and bowl we put filter in them i also see that i put filter in them that is not the same thing as the water supply to township which is coming from the water corporation company the treated water majorly are the distilled water and the water supply to township. By God's grace, in our next class, we'll be hammering on this water supply to township. How is it being treated? Like I said, I said water majorly is not pure. It cannot be seen in the pure form. Now that arises the question then, how can it be treated for consumption? How can it be treated for consumption? So in the next class, we'll be looking at how water is treated for for consumption. Now, I want to do assignments for the next class. How is the time we meet for our next class? I want us to go and look at
how water so how can or how is water supply to town shift Twitter, how is it being treated? See? Or so we'll be looking at types of water. Please the two types of water. This we have come to the end of the class today.